Weather is everywhere, from beautiful, warm, sunny days to the downright dangerous. Think your city is immune to the bad weather? Think again. And since we know there is no place that's impervious to bad weather, are there places that are, at the very least, safer? Our senior meteorologist John Erdman came up with this list. How did you come about the different factors to find these cities? Well, in order to find the safer cities, we had to look at the weather impacts that could, frankly, kill you. So excessive heat, heavy rains that produce flooding, tornadoes, inland tropical cyclones. Lightning. Using data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, John Erdman examined several areas of the country and came up with a list of cities. Then he assigned a rating from each potentially deadly weather phenomenon on a scale from zero to five. Zero for no risk and five for highest risk. In the Northeast, it's Rochester, New York. Low risk of tropical cyclone or heat related deaths. Of course, the main threats there the snow and the cold. But in some parts of the country, finding a safe city is a little more difficult. Well, by far and away, the hardest region to do was the south region because, hey, let's face it, severe weather outbreaks, you know, thunderstorms are plentiful, and you get a little touch of winter in as well. Asheville, North Carolina, does have a higher risk of lightning in tropical weather and a lower risk of everything else. So in the south, it's one of the safest weather cities. We celebrate our great weather and gorgeous landscape. People come here for that. Moving to the Midwest, it's Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Low heat, flood, and tornado risk, but of course a higher cold, snow, and ice risk. When it comes to the West, do you like sailing? Do you like 70s? Do you like the sunshine? If so, how about sunny San Diego, California, our safest weather city in that part of the country? So there you have it. Four 